welcome back to Valerie's Homes and Gardens. Now let's go inside and get some work done in the greenhouse. Okay, so it's a bit dim inside because it's very overcast. It has been overcast for a few days now, but next week we're supposed to be getting a break in the weather. So we should have some 14, 15, 16 degrees temperature and we should have some sunshine. So um, what I want to do is to get these squash all cleaned up and to basically put them on the shelves which is on the south side of the greenhouse so that they can get some sunlight when the sun breaks next week because i'm curing them right to last me for the winter months now if you watched the video that i showed you when i reaped them you would have heard me said that there are a few things you need to do when you're curing your squash for storage and one of the first thing that you need to do is to make sure that you reap the squash with a stem on it and that is because anything that is connected to a stem will last longer another thing i mentioned is that when you are putting your squash to cure don't wet them if there's any dirt on them basically just take a dry rag and wipe clean up the squash as best as possible and then to cure them you'll have to put them in a sunny location for seven to ten days right and i'm hoping i get at least seven days of sunshine towards the end of this week into next week i should specify that i'm using a dry cloth to clean the squash Now, I don't have a cold room, but I do have um, a storage underneath the stairs in our home. So that's where they will be stored. And when you're storing them, um, make sure that you don't put them in layers on top of each other. Try to lay them out so they can get air. And it's also a good idea to put um, them on shredded newspaper or any type of paper for that matter. I think this is the biggest one. So I like to eat the skin of the squash, right? And so that's one of the good things about growing my own squash. I can just wash them thoroughly and put the whole thing in the pot. When I buy the ones in the store, they have so much wax in them. I have to use my potato peeler to get the peel off. Thank you guys so much for subscribing to the channel and for watching the videos. Now, if you find anything that's helpful to you, please share. Share with your family, share with your friends, share with your relatives. Just share, guys. I appreciate that and I appreciate you immensely. And if you haven't subscribed, consider subscribing. And remember to hit that notification bell icon so you can be notified of new videos. You take care now and I'll see you in the next video.